Choosing the right computer can be a difficult task. A bewildering list of options such as USB, HDMI, dual core, and umpteen other acronyms and features can make the decision unnerving. But if you're in the market, the bells and whistles that are now available are like nothing we've seen before. Advances to computer input devices have traditionally been limited by how fast your hand can accomplish a task, such as clicking a mouse or typing a phrase. That's all changing. One of the big things that's happening right now is Microsoft is releasing Windows 7. Um, and that features a technology called um, multi-touch, which is in um, Apple iPhones as well. Uh, and so one of the things we expect to see is for manufacturers to produce laptops uh, and uh, desktop monitors that support this technology. So theoretically, uh, you will be able to touch your PC rather than just control it using the mouse and the keyboard. What's happening under the hood is also making a big difference in how fast we can manipulate or view data. At the moment, no one knows this, but we're on USB 2. Uh, which, and USB is the, uh, refers to the tiny little ports that you will find in the back of your computer. Uh, and what they do is they slow everything down. So if, for example, you take lots and lots of photos, which I'm sure you do, uh, and you want to transfer them to your uh, computer, it takes a long time. If you've got uh, a USB 3, then it means that they, it won't exactly be instantaneous, but it will be, it won't be that five minute wait, which you're probably having to do right now. 3D technology, long a staple in the entertainment industry, is also making inroads into personal computing. Just don't expect to see them in stores anytime soon. I think 3D displays probably will be the future, um, but with it, will it be in 2010? I'm not completely convinced. Laptops have garnered a lot of attention in recent years thanks to thinner, lighter, and smaller designs. But don't expect the desktop computer to disappear anytime soon. Lots of companies still believe there's a future for desktop PCs, but they also think there's going to be, they're going to fulfill a niche. Uh, for example, uh, many people like to have a bigger PC to work on uh, because they, they are still that little bit faster. Um, and you can have, for example, a bigger screen uh, that you can adjust to where you want it to be. Whatever enhancements the next decade brings, you can rest assured that some newer technology will soon come along that will make that new computer you just bought feel sluggish in no time. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.